Thank you very much. much. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, first of all, thank you to uh, CEO Club and Ajaz Sahab for putting this forum together. Or I think at Subha se kafi aisi personalities aayi hain who are very um, prominent in uh, the, the growth of this country. Um, I'm just going to give you a brief background about myself. Uh, today's title is uh, Prosperity. Uh, my my life story is a bit different. Uh, I think it's unique. Uh, States and I moved here in 2010 having spent a uh, major majority of my life there um, why did I come to Pakistan right even my brother till today uh, he says Ke wapis ajo. and a lot of people question me Ke what am I doing here and so the path to prosperity for me is uh, uh, this is a land of opportunity look at think the West is the land of opportunity Pakistan is a land of opportunity so I I, I I am a living example I've been here 13 years now um, and I still see uh, hope in this country there's a, yes we've hit a uh, we've hit rock bottom right now but I believe uh, we're gonna get out of this mess and inshallah when we do we will prosper uh, more than before um, I belong to an industry which is heavily uh, indulged in human labor. Uh, the human development index needs to be worked on, unfortunately, which many uh, industry, uh, vocational schools, which I'm trying to work on right now, vocational training, we need to uh, start uh, developing skill sets. So our labor, the majority of our labor is agricultural labor. And our construction may be more agricultural labor use. Hoti hai. Unfortunately, they're unskilled labor. The ratio of uh, productivity of uh, labor outside of Pakistan to Pakistan is no less than one to four. So we have a lot of wastage in labor in Pakistan due to skill sets not available here. So we need to work on that. I, I, and I know I have to put in my part because uh, I'm working on that as uh, developing vocational training institutes. Um, so so uh, the construction industry, going back to your question, is, has taken a big hit. Uh, any, any, any country in, uh, uh, in, uh, 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 across the globe, um, the key indicator for growth is construction activity. Right. So, where construction activity is, you can see that the country is moving forward. We've uh, definitely halted right now. Um, uncontrollable escalation has come in the market. Uh, builders uh, have stopped work, a lot of builders have stopped work, steel prices have tremendously gone up, cement prices have gone up, uh, construction contracts are uh, under litigation uh, because uh, somehow or another the cost uh, is uncontrollable right now. Uh, as evident in the market. So how do we do this, right? What's the path to prosperity? Uh, I, I certainly believe that uh, uh, we need to form a parallel, um, uh, parallel structure to what's in place right now of uh, businessmen who belong from every industry, Absolutely. Who, Absolutely. who hold experience, expertise mm. in their industry, and uh, the government should take, take these uh, uh, businessmen on board and seek help from them. True. Uh, where, uh, you know, we, we haven't done, quite frankly, uh, uh, we're not doing the right things. Mm. If you look at our neighbors, they're doing something right, mm. right? Bangladesh and India, mm. the, something is going right over there. Mm. So we need to focus on Pakistan, where Pakistanis, uh, we have a lot of hope in this country. There is a path to prosperity. We believe in this country. But you need to have professionals on board. I certainly believe the panel uh, which has been put together here today on this floor right now or since the morning, everyone which has come through this room holds expertise and is prospering in their own right. So yeah, th this skill set needs to come in parallel to uh, the upper management of this country and uh, start making some changes so we can prosper, we can be on a road to prosperity, right? If you ask me, what's going on I can tell you, I don't know, right? Mm -hmm. And I've spoken to top leading businessmen of Pakistan. You ask them, what do you foresee in the next quarter, the quarter after? No one has an answer for that. Right. So uh, we have to make strategic policies. We need to um, have a vision. Pakistan doesn't have a vision, right? Why Dubai change Dubai changed? If you look at Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed had a vision. He eliminated his dependency on oil and, and converted his economy on tourism and trading. The man had a vision, right? India has a vision, countries have a vision. What's our vision? We need to promote our vision on a global platform. Ajaz Saab and a lot of us were at the World Economic Forum back in January. Or it's not so so like Pakistan at the World Economic Forum uh, at an at a official level was not represented there. We didn't have a pavilion there. 
हु वुड इन्वेस्ट इन पाकिस्तान एफ डी आई आएगा कहाँ से हम अपना आपको प्रमोट ही नहीं कर रहे हैं तो वी नीड टू फोकस ऑन वी वी नीड अ लॉन्ग टर्म विजन राइट वी नीड टू पुट आवर डिफरेंस अ साइड um uh, we need to put everyone needs to put their differences aside we need to work on this broader model of what our vision is and this vision needs to be sold to the uh, to the rest of the countries in the world because what don't we have we have gwadar we have minerals mines we have agriculture technology uh, uh, the biggest uh, tech uh, asif peer is here um unilever is here you know ke- chemical ke kaam ho rahe hain construction kaam ho rahe hain uh, we have northern areas uh, tourism everything right So are we promoting these? No, we're not promoting these. Mm-hmm. We can tremendously uh, take advantage of what we have. So countries strive for we have all the ingredients to success. So countries strive for what we have. So we need to have a long-term vision. We need to promote our vision. We need to bring an FDI here and um uh, we need to uh, Pakistan needs to change its image. So um uh, talking about construction, uh, construction <coughs> is like i said is heavily gauged in labor um uh, unfortunately uh, right now things are a little uh, different uh, we need to as as a nation we need to work on two I, if you ask me we need to work on two very important things which are infrastructure building and um uh, housing uh, for the masses because right. our growth uh, our population is increasing and uh, we're not uh, we're not adequately equipped to provide housing for them so, and we have a, a huge land areas which we can uh, uh, take care of that from infrastructure uh, any any country to prosper you need to have the proper infrastructure so that needs to be put in place that spurs economic activity when you do these activities that's where construction companies on board then you have labor uh, infiltration you have uh, so many industries which are aligned to uh, construction unke karobar chal rahe hain unke dhande chal rahe hain trading ho rahi hai import ho rahi hai so uh, as far as construction because i'm uh, i'm in the construction industry uh, we've been uh, doing contracting for the past 31 years so we only do private contracting we don't do government contracting for, due to certain reasons but as a nation we need to focus on infrastructure and housing so um, that's that's what i believe our path to prosperity is